It is our most precious resource. A new source of water could be coming to Odessa. It's something oil and gas companies work with every day. Brackish water. That's salt water. A new desalination plant is up and running in Odessa. The plant uses technology to take salt out of water and make it drinkable. It's on private property on Johnson Road. A private investment group and two tech companies are behind it. The hope is that it will eventually provide good drinking water for Odessans. News West 9's Rachel Riff is live from the water filtration facility in Odessa that is again officially up and running. Rachel, how much did this project cost and how did it come about? Good evening, Crystal. I'm here at the desalinization plant in Odessa. Now, this project was about $500,000 money from investors out here in Odessa. Now, this came from a need for more affordable and abundant water, turning groundwater, brackish water, into drinkable water. It's a different kind of liquid gold in West Texas. This plant will not only take disposed salt water and make it clean, it'll do the same with groundwater. This is the first system in the world that's like this right here. Taking these two pieces of equipment and put them together to work together, first time in the world this has happened, period, bar none. The Sierra Filtech unit is only the second one in the United States. Two technology companies are working together to take all the bacteria, salt, and unwanted particles out of undrinkable water. And we need that water in hot West Texas. We're no stranger to droughts. Many still remember the drought 10 years ago. As our lake levels drop down, what happens is, is our TDS goes up, it gets to where you can't drink it, and we run across this. In 2011, 2012, uh, most of the cities with Serum WD were put on some kind of water restrictions. That's why the Ector County Utility District President spearheaded this effort, so we're never short supplied again, and still be able to afford to pay for it. Well, this technology that we have today, this electrochemical nanodiffusion, okay, along with the ceramic filtration, and now we're looking at less than $3 per thousand gallons. All said and done, water from this desalinization plant would add 12 million barrels of water a day to Odessa's water supply. Now, next steps are to get this water TCEQ approved. That process is going to take anywhere between 6 to 12 months and then they'll be multiplying these plants you see here behind me all out into the Ector County Utility District and eventually into the city of Odessa. Reporting live in Odessa, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you. According to Texas Desal, Texas has more than 100 desalination plants. Most are small or intermittent type facilities. But Texas has two large facilities, the K. Bailey Hutchison plant in El Paso. It can produce up to 27.5 million gallons of fresh water daily. And the Southmost Regional Water Authority desalination plant, it produces 7.5 million gallons a day for South Texas.